welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a review and a mini tutorial for the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Uh, this is a new release. It is available on the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Um, if I do believe it will also be available at Ulta um, this upcoming weekend. Uh, the price for this palette is $42. You do get 14 shadows in this pan. Um, and I have some thoughts for you guys. So let's go ahead and do swatches first and then we will get into the thoughts. So here are your shades right here. They are just so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at these. Ah. They are so stunning. So Norvina did create this palette in with inspiration for her mother. Um, I think that is absolutely heartwarming and I love that idea. So first going into the palette, you will notice that there are repeat shades in here. Um, you have Tempera, uh, burnt orange and cypress umber as repeat shades. I know orange soda is not a new shade, but there are new shades in here as well. Um, I think this is a very well put together palette. You can create any look that you want with this. You can go work everyday um, eyeshadow look, or you can do very glam with this palette. This is a very versatile palette, and I am just in love with this. Now, um, as far as fallout goes, a lot of people were going to be worried oh my gosh, is this the Solb culture? So when the Prism palette came out, they were all worried that it was gonna be like the Solb culture. I think that really, that palette just did some damage with all the negativity that surrounded it. Um, and I kinda of wanna veer away from that because this is nothing like that. This is everything like the modern Renaissance. So this is going to be your sister palette to the modern Renaissance. This is everything that maybe Ma, the Solb culture palette should have been, um, but it is what it is, you know, that is in the past, we're moving forward, this palette is gorgeous, it is everything that we have asked for. The quality is there, there is hardly any kick up, the same amount of kick up that you get from the Modern Renaissance palette, but the pigmentation is there, every single shade is so beautiful it is easy to work with easy to blend it is that Anastasia Beverly Hills quality that we all know and that we all love from the modern renaissance um, the modern renaissance is a staple in everybody's um, collection I do believe that this is another staple in your collection um, you know as far as the if you go to fill like this one in mulberry there is a little bit of dryness in there but i had no issues with it whatsoever on the eyes um everything is just stunning she really really did a good job with this it was well thought out and i'm so happy with my purchase i would buy this all over again um and this actually might be <laughs> Uh, am I gonna say it? Yes, I'm gonna say it. Okay, I think I'm actually going to enjoy this palette more so than the Modern Renaissance palette. Don't get me wrong, I love this palette. This palette is gorgeous. I have created so many looks with this palette, but um, you know, it does have some stronger colors with these reds and these pinks, um, and this is more so me. <laughs> So that's why I'm saying I'm going to love this palette more just because it has more shades um, that I would be willing to use every single day. So do you need this in your life? I think you really do. <laughs> I am not one to press, you know, the issue. Oh, you need this. You have to have this. Got to get it. But you have to have this palette. This palette is stunning. It is so gorgeous in every single aspect. And if you don't get this palette, you are going to be missing out. That's all I gotta say. Is it? Is it? That's all she wrote. Done. <laughs> all right, guys. So if you do want to see how I achieve this eye look, then just keep on watching. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have been using this palette all week long and ah, yes, so many beautiful looks. So um, I went ahead and I've primed my eyes with my Laura Mercier uh, eye base primer. This is in the color wheat. <laughs> so <clears throat> I am just going to start with my Morphe M441 and we are going to go in with orange soda with this little one right here and we're gonna put that as our transition color all right next I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 and we're gonna go in with rustic which is this color right here. And we're gonna put this high above our crease. Sorry guys, I went ahead and had to switch to a background because it was just getting way too dark outside. It's been cloudy and rainy anyway. So um, next I'm going to take my Sigma E, my Sigma E34, which is just a domed brush. And we are going to take the color Mulberry right here and we're going to put that on our outer corner. And we're going to slowly work that into our crease, but just not, not too much. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to blend that out. Alright, going to go back in with some orange soda to just kind of brighten that up just a little bit. Next, we're gonna go into, I love this color so much. This is Sultry right here, and we are going to put that all over our lid area. Now I'm just going to take a little liner brush from Wet n Wild and we're going to go back into the color Rustic and we're going to put that on our lower lash line. And we're going to go back into with a little bit of Mulberry and put that on as well. Maybelline Lash Sensational.
gonna go ahead and apply some blush and highlight and I will be right back all right so I am back and we are just going to pop on some lip gloss and this is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss this has actually become one of my favorite lip glosses like ever <laughs> Right, guys so this is the completed look um, I really enjoy how this turned out I am just absolutely in love with this palette um, if you have any interest in this at all go ahead and get it do yourself a favor and get this palette because this palette is it is the sister to the modern Renaissance it is beautiful it is everything that we have been waiting for and I love it I love it so much and I'm I'm really glad that I went ahead and I got it off the ABH website because this has quickly become one of my go-to palettes and this is definitely going to be one of my staples in my collection so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below you can also follow me on Instagram and I will have that link down below as well and I will see you guys on my next video bye Thank you.